Russian invasion of Ukraine entering 46th day. Here's now a quick check on all the top developments that have been coming in from the war-torn nation. Let's begin. Amid a stepped-up offensive by the Russian forces in the Donbass region, 10 humanitarian corridors have been agreed upon by the Ukrainian authorities to evacuate civilians in the eastern region of Donetsk and Luhansk, as well as neighboring Zaporizhia. War-torn Mariupol is part of also the safe corridor. Ukraine's deputy prime minister has said civilians could cross into safe region through the corridors. Ukraine carries out third prisoner exchange since the start of the war, bringing home 14 civilians, 12 soldiers from Russia. Deputy Prime Minister Ariana Vereshchuk has said on the order of Ukraine President Zelensky, 12 of Ukraine's servicemen are returning home, including a female officer. No confirmation yet of how many Russians had been exchanged for this. In action. Amid constant bombardment in eastern Ukraine, Donetsk governor said five civilians killed by Russian shelling in the region of Donetsk, five others wounded in two east Ukrainian cities. He also said four of them died in the city of Vugladar and one of them in the town of Nomikhailovka. In a bid to assist Ukraine against invasion, the International Monetary Fund has approved establishment of an administered account for Ukraine, providing donors with a secure vehicle to direct financial assistance. This special account possibly will channel the donor resources in the form of grants and loans.